What's up YouTube and welcome to the beautiful kitchen of my new home. Yeah, I bought a house. It's crazy. Um, I did have kind of like a long term, like a lifelong goal of buying a house or property before I was 30. And I'm glad I, I accomplished that goal. I'm 26. So I did it four years er earlier than the mid, like the max goal that I set. And just kind of fun little story. Um, I never really pictured buying a home. Like I always wanted land. I always wanted at least 10 acres of my own. I'd park a camper on it, eventually build a house. In the area that I wanted to do that, I quickly found out uh, there were lots of restrictions. Lots of the two to 10 acre to more, 30 acres even, pieces of land were subdivisions of old ranches. And when these ranches were subdivided for whatever reason, um, they created a lot of CCNRs and a lot of restrictions. No living in a trailer, no livestock, no fences, no homes smaller than 1,200 square feet. Like, I literally have seen them all because I've been browsing for land in this area for about five years now. So, it was never that I gave up on land. I just kind of went through the motions of finding things where I was like, well, this would be perfect, but, or this would be perfect, but... And I determined in my mind that I always wanted a cabin. That was a goal of mine. I always wanted 10 acres of land. I didn't get 10 acres, but um, that was something I wanted. I wanted city water and electricity because spending your life savings or getting a loan on land and then having to pay for a well and a well permit and a building permit and electricity and all that adds up a lot. And that's hard to find, you know? And I wanted a good piece of land, and most importantly, I wanted a nice view. Um, up until this point, I did see a lot of beautiful, amazing homes that were for sale and were around the price I paid for this home, but they were like across from a gas station, in the center of town, by a church, no view, like in the heart of town, on Main Street, and I didn't want that. I like feeling secluded, like it's still nice to have the city or the town amenities, like water and electricity and all that, but I don't like having neighbors right on top of me. I don't like hearing their dogs. I don't like hearing their conversations. I want to feel secluded enough and out of town enough, but still have town amenities. And I want an amazing view of the mountains. I mean, that's why I moved west. That's why I moved to Utah. This area I'm in has the most amazing views in the world. Anyway, I was uh, writing a paper for one of my classes and I finished it like 1 a.m., turned it in and everything. And it was like 1 a.m., I got in my bed to go to bed and I'm like, let me just check the Realty website real quick. I check, this house had just come up for sale. It was literally all those things I was looking for. The price wasn't horrendous. I was like, oh my gosh, it's crazy, but do I have the money for the house? I wasn't planning on buying a house. I just wanted property. Um, told my parents about it, and even they were like, oh my gosh, that's perfect for you. Like This was the only way within the next 10 years probably that I'd get in a home around here because it's a smaller home, so the price wasn't horrendous. It's only on an acre of land, but it's a beautiful, really square acre and borders public land, so that's my land too. Wink. <laughs> and anyway, so I just went for it. And now I'm rambling, but I just wanted to tell you a little story about how sometimes God knows what's best for you and puts these things kind of in your lap or throws these things that are meant for you in your face. And I really believe that's what happened with this house. That aside, the real reason I'm here, I just want to tell you guys real quick that I recently started working with Bex. Bex makes sunglasses and apparel and they work with everyone from hunters to fishers to really badass rodeo people like ropers, wranglers, um, bull riders, lots of different things. They appeal to like very much an outdoor lifestyle, ranchers, farmers, fishermen, fisherwomen, all that. And I'm really excited to work with them and be able to give you guys a discount, which I'll put here. Um, they give you a really use, they give you a really huge discount. So just throwing ideas at you, sunglasses, hats, stuff like that are always a great Christmas gift with the holidays coming up. And you can save a lot of money with my code and it helps me out a ton um, because these partners that support me um, just support me, simple as that. And uh, I only, I don't work with anybody and everybody. I only work with brands that I already trust and love. And let me show you why I love sunglasses so much. 
because their sunglasses are so amazing. So when you get them, you have these really, really nice little containers. I have just four of them here. One of them is in my truck. It's like my everyday pair, which is the Ranger, probably my favorite. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this looks great on both of you. And I love the style. It's like really classy. And so this is the Wesley. I'll link all the exact ones that I have, but you can just see the detail is amazing. And I don't know what it is. I never used to buy sunglasses that had like these type of nose pieces because when you put them on your, over your hair, you, when you put them up off your eyes, um, they break your hair and stuff and rip your hair. I don't know how Bex did it, but that has yet to happen. So they're kind of like more like rubbery. Genius. Genius. Other brands, I'm not going to name them, literally very expensive, very well-known sunglass brands literally rip my hair out and are uncomfortable on my nose or they slide down. So props to Bex for getting it right. This is the Wesley. This is a little bit more of like a bigger frame sunglasses, which I do like for fishing. Okay, so yeah, fishing, um, this will protect more of your face from the sun anyway. That's another thing I like about big frame glasses. When you're fishing, you wanna be able to see from all angles. So this would be probably one of my top picks for fishing. This is the Wesley and it's, I'll put the color information below. I think it's like a rose gold on that one. This next one, the Jaybird 2. So this, if you want like comfort every day, this is your sunglass. It has kind of like a gold lens and then I went with like the tortoise. <laughs> so I poke myself in the eye. I really, really like these sunglasses and they're just comfortable. Um, I won't wear a sunglass if it's uncomfortable. And crazy thing, I might have told you guys before, but after rolling my truck in 2017, I don't see the same through sunglasses. I have a hard time. I can't see through cheap glass. Um, rattled like my spinal cord and occipital nerve and all that, it's all tied together. Been to a doctor about it, really nothing you can do, but I can't see through cheap glass, so I need like really, really good sunglasses. And that's the cool thing about Bex. They're all polarized, so you don't have to search through their website and see a $150 sunglass and be like, is this even the polarized option? Sometimes brands have that where you're paying like $200 because of the name and then you, you're not even getting polarized sunglasses, which if you're fishing, if you're coming on a trip with me with Chunky Trout Outfitters for a guided fly fishing trip, don't even come if you don't have polarized sunglasses, I'm sorry. They are a must for fishing. I don't care what you say, what you think, I'm just telling you all right? That's, that's my two cents, take it or leave it. Anyway, I do really like these sunglasses. These would also be another great, everyday option or like I said like um, fishing <laughs> okay I can show you one more and then like I said I have one more in my truck which I'll show you at another point but they do also have hats I'm wearing my new favorite one from them like I said I'll link everything below you can get a discount on hats and everything as well this hat is just so clean so clean I'll show you some more of them okay this one is so pretty it's like a dark maroon color with a dark lens. Wow. Love it. Uh, funny story, I have chubby cheeks and a really small nose, so sunglasses, bigger sunglasses always hit my cheeks. <laughs> and I can move them with my cheeks as you see when I smile and all that. Chubby cheeks ever since I was a baby. <laughs> Just my face, I can't do anything about it. Okay, one last thing. Let me show you some of the other hats. Their hats are so clean. Hat hair, don't look. It's brand new. I haven't even worn these new ones that I ordered yet. Okay, so we have that one. Brown, that's really, really cute. This is a women's fit one. Oh yeah, I like that. Clean. You could wear these, like you could really dress these hats up. They're so pretty. Okay, last one, brown. Is this a women's fit? No. So lots of different guys and gals options. I like that one a lot too. I like browns, as you guys know. Well, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you like that little story behind how I found this house. If you guys wanna know more about the house and specifics, prices, all that, please let me know. Um, I think it'd be fun to share that with you. I'm very open with you guys, and as you know,
<laughs> anyway, if you do feel like supporting Bex uh, with the holidays coming up, Black Friday coming up, everything, use my code. It's such a great deal, I'm telling you, and it helps me out and supports me a ton. So if you do it, please tell me that you did it. I could, I'd love to send you a free Chunky Trout Outfitter sticker. I'll send you a free note, any of that. Really supporting me and the brands that I use goes such a long way. So thank you guys so much. Everybody needs sunglasses and hats anyway, so you might as well check them out. You already have bought stuff from them in the past let me know because I really really like them thank you so much for watching you guys I'm out of here gonna do some more stuff around my new home and I'll talk to you guys soon bye